I'm John Gregg, your certified financial planner with APSAdvisor.com. Today we're going to talk about how investing only $16 a day into a Roth IRA can net you over a million dollars in tax-free income in retirement. We're going to go through those numbers and explain how I got there and why starting today is so important. If you don't know what a Roth IRA is, hit the link above because you need to understand what that is for this video to make sense. If you don't know what a Roth conversion is, there's going to be a link at the end of the video that you can watch after this. Upon doing my research for this video, I wanted to find a good Roth IRA growth calculator and I came across a good one on nerdwallet.com. They have a lot of good tools for personal finance. And what you can see in this graph is that a lot of the growth is towards the end. And this is what's called compound interest. And Warren Buffett also talks about what's called the snowball effect. So it's kind of the same thing. And all it is is letting your money work for you. If you have it in a bank, it's not really earning much. If you have it invested, although it is riskier, you're going to have a lot more growth. So let's talk about the assumptions that I made in order to get to that number of $1.32 million so you can better understand it. If you start at age 30 and you're getting a return of 8% on average per year and you invest it until you retire at age 60 and you're maximizing $6,000 per year, that's how I got to that number. And if you're asking how you got to $16 a day, well, that's 6,000 divided by $365. 365 days. So in case some of those assumptions are a little bit off, there are ways you can supercharge your Roth IRA. And the first one is the Roth conversion. If you don't know what that is, in real simple terms, you take money from a traditional IRA, you move it into a Roth IRA, and you let it grow. Make sure you talk to a tax professional because it's not the right move for everybody. The second is a catch-up contribution. So after the age of 50, you're allowed to contribute an additional $1,000 into that account. The third is to make sure that you're maximizing your contribution. So a good example of this is that in 2018, the maximum contribution was 5,500. They bumped it up in 2019 to $6,000, and I'm sure they're gonna bump it up as time goes. So you have to make sure that you're paying attention to that. The fourth is just to invest aggressively. If you're young, you can afford to invest aggressively. If you're older, you probably want to pull back the reins a little bit and not be as risky for getting close to retirement. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please hit that subscribe button.